Hi there, this is Kirsten with Northern Whimsy Art. So in our last video I showed you how to glue down the mosaic pieces to your backing here, your cutout, for the um, driftwood fish kit. And today I'm going to show you how we grout this and how later how we hang it. So here's the supplies that we need. We need our grout, of course the fish with um, all the pieces glued down and we waited about 12 hours before we um, start grouting so that can really dry. Uh, you're going to need one of your popsicle sticks, a sponge, and water in a disposable container. You're going to get some of your grout in there, so please don't wash it down your drain. That's not good for your drains. And also, it really helps to have a table covering, something to kind of help with the cleanup later on, because that grout can get on things. Just a quick note here. <laughs> I got so excited about grouting my mosaic fish that I forgot something very important. Uh, you are supposed to wear gloves while you're doing this so you don't end up with hands like these. So um, before you start grouting, go ahead and put on your gloves. Alright, I'm going to set this to the side for the minute and we are going to mix up our grout. So here's how you do that. You are going to Add a little bit of water with your sponge. The reason you do it with your sponge instead of pouring it in is we just want to add a very little bit at a time because it's easy to thin out your grout too much. And we want the grout to be about the consistency of thick peanut butter. So I'm going to squeeze that in, stir it. You're going to want just add little by little, and it is okay to go slow. So it really makes a big difference uh, what your consistency is here. Okay, and I'm gonna really scrape the sides and mix in the chunks at the bottom too. All right, and I think we've got it. This looks like the right consistency here. Okay, now it's gonna be a little bit like frosting a cake. We're gonna get a good glob here and put it on our fish. And we're gonna use the popsicle stick to kind of spread it out. Do be a little gentle just so you don't break off any of your beads. Okay, and we want to make sure that we get around the edges really good too because that's really going to help hold everything in. So the first step of grouting is you're going to cover up all of your hard work and then once we cover it all up, we're going to start uncovering it again. Just really making sure I'm getting those edges really good. Alright. And I'm just gonna check. I think I got the edges pretty good here. 
right. Now I'm gonna set the popsicle stick down and I'm gonna start using my sponge. So here's what we do with the sponge. We're gonna wring it out real quick because we don't want it to be too wet. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna push down the grout so it gets in between our mosaic pieces here. I'm gonna spread it out. I'm gonna make sure we don't take off the grout too much because we want it to stay between the tiles. Let me bring this out a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to scrape off some of this back into our cup. And now you can st see that you still can't see the tiles very well. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to start uncovering the tiles while making sure that we're still leaving grout in between them. Okay, so now we've uncovered them. There's just this thin film of grout on the top. So what we're going to do is we are going to let this dry for a little bit until that becomes kind of foggy. And when that becomes foggy, you'll know you're ready for the next step. I also wanted to mention, uh, we need to go and wash off the back. Sometimes grout can get stuck on the back of this. So we're going to go back with our sponge here. And just clean that off real good. I also wanted to mention, here's something we need to do. There is this hole for hanging these, and we need to go back with our um, popsicle stick and uncover that hole so we still have a hole to hang it. And we still have the hole to hang the fish. Now you can see that this is dried enough to where the little bit of grout that's left on top is kind of foggy looking, it's kind of dry looking. So we're gonna go back with a dry cloth and we're just gonna kind of buff it up. That way it's all shiny and we can see all of the tiles really good. And if you need to, you can do this a few times. You can let it sit and do it again. I'm just going to really gently pull that grout off the top. I'm going to do the same for the beads back here. Kind of shine them up. Okay, now they're looking all nice and shiny. There's a little bit left, but I'm going to let it sit for a couple minutes. And then I'm going to go back in with this dry cloth and buff it up again. This is how you grout your fish. And you're just going to repeat this process for the other two fish as well.
All right, so there is not much of a trick to hanging these. Um, you have several shorter pieces of string and one long one. The long one, you're just gonna tie onto the stick to be your hanger so you can hang it up somewhere. And the shorter ones you're going to use to tie your fish onto the stick. So you can, if you like, you can add a pony bead for some little extra decoration here. And then you just tie this through the hole. And once that's done, you're ready to hang it. All right, so this is what your finished product will look like. You have the string to um, hang your piece of artwork on the wall. You have these. Now we made them kind of shorter, longer, longest, but you can do it however you want with the twine that you have. And we put these pony beads on. I hope you had fun with this project. We had a lot of fun making it.